Hi! In this video I'm going to show you how to use the slow motion function on the Sony HXR NX80. This camera can record up to 250 frames per second. That means it's 10 times slower than real time. And in the edit we can even extend this to 20 times slower than real time. But why would you even use slow motion? Well, slow motion is a very good way to capture fast moving things like sports athletes, supercars, falling things, breaking things, and of course, explosions. You can also use slow motion to make your video look more dramatic, epic, or dynamic. Break up that interview with some beautiful slow motion cover shots to make any video look cool. But remember, only use the slow motion function for the appropriate shots. Don't overdo it. A video with only slow motion footage looks, well, slow. For instance, slow motion footage can look very cool when you're doing something quick, but an interview in slow motion just doesn't work. This is a good example of slow motion footage. In this slow motion shot, there's not enough happening to make it interesting. In this slow motion shot, the lighting is too dark. All right, now that we know when to use slow motion footage and when not to use it, let's find out how it actually works. It's very important to know that you can only use the slow motion function while you're shooting in manual mode. If you want to know how to use manual mode, check out the video up here. Make sure your camera is set to manual mode by checking the switch on the back of the camera. Then press the S and Q button on the side of the camera located here. You are now in slow motion mode. When you're done filming in slow-mo, press the S and Q button again and you're right back to normal. There are a few things you need to keep in mind when you're shooting in slow motion mode. First of all, the camera can only record up to 10 seconds in slow motion mode, so time your shots well. When you're using the slow motion mode indoors, you might get some flickering from the lights. If this happens, don't worry, don't panic, just adjust your shutter speed accordingly until the flickering is gone. Due to the high frame rate, slow motion mode also needs a lot of light, so make sure your shot is properly exposed and not too dark. All right, now you're ready to shoot some awesome slow motion footage. And as you can see, it's easy as one, two, three. 